This one's for you. If I can get. There we go. Murka. Murka. Listening to. Oh, li listening to. Listen to the trunk vibrate, bud. Yeah, he did. Sorry, bud, he's louder. Yeah, he did. I think we, uh, I think we have a problem here. What? Okay, new, new guitar day. As I get a notification, just as I start a video. That always happens to you guys, right? We'll let it roll. But anyways, this is my original PV that I got as a kid. And today, we were driving around, uh, getting some things done, and uh, hitting a couple portals, and getting gas, and uh, stopped at the uh, Cash Canada, and they had this guy for 99 bucks. Well, a couple things were off for me. Namely that. Oh, let's go back. What's up with that? So, I mean, the logo's legit. I had a look at it. Same type of neck. You get the split neck. I was like, okay. Let's take a look at the back. And I was like, focus, you fuck. And then, uh, yeah. I was like, okay, somebody changed those. And I didn't know what they were at first. But... Uh, made in the USA, so it it showed more and more to be a PV. I just didn't recognize it. And then uh, I looked up the serial number later, and sure enough, just older year. So they went through headstock change, and these are Planet Waves locking auto trim tuners. I looked those up; they're like eighty bucks. That's most of the price of the guitar right there. Somebody has hacked in a select EMG and hacked up the plate fairly well to do that. It needs some work, uh, so does the action. But uh, cleaned off some DNA a little earlier and plugged it in. It works. But for 100 bucks, I'm not going to complain. And then there is the, uh, the reactor. I need to get uh, a new string for that. But we now have three PVs in the family. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with you yet. Not sure. It's staying red, that's for sure. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that pickup configuration. It does sound fine. Not going to complain there. But we'll see. Anyways, it's time for an update. And Time for some PV love. Because everybody says PV sucks. And I love my PVs. I really love the neck. And I don't think you're going to be able to get guitars that are made quite like this. Not with the split neck style anyway. Split maple neck like that. Um, not for $99 prices anyway. I, I, I'd like it. I like it. Did I say there was only three? 
I'm I'm sorry. Uh, not made in the USA, but uh, still a PB. So PB Predator Plus EXP. I walked into a store, saw it, bought it. Uh, just one of those things. I really like the color on it. Um, kind of like the humbuckers too. But I don't play this a whole lot. I'm not really too much of a fan of uh, dealing with the Floyd style. And a locking headstock. Not my kind of deal. But I do like that guitar. A little dark. My apologies. But... I had, that one's made in Indonesia, so still fairly fairly good good build quality with that. But there you go. Four PVs.